Hi everyone, fellow Quininers. Tim here from the Deep Sky Eye Observatory. First of all, let me say thank you for the support that you've given us over the last couple of challenging years. We continue to create and explore new ideas and programs that we can offer all of you in these difficult times. One of the reasons for this video is to ask a small favor from each of you. Now, under normal non-COVID times, I would probably go visit each of you personally instead of doing this video. But before I ask, I'd like to share something with you. For just over five years, um, I've been sharing my passion for the night sky with thousands of people from around the world, from right here in our backyard. Deep Sky Eye has contributed to Quinnin and areas by hosting star parties and donating the proceeds to our volunteer fire department, Quinnin Club, and the Yarmouth Food Bank. As a member of the Starlight Development Committee, we help other businesses create stargazing experiences of their own. For those of you that don't know me, I grew up here in Quinnan, and since I was a young boy, um, despite my eye condition, I realized that how beautiful, basically, that night sky was here in Quinnan. Quinnan and Southwest Nova have been really blessed with a dark sky that many in the world are not able to see because there's just too much light shining in the sky. The light from street lights, house lights that shine in the sky contribute to light pollution, which blocks our view of the night sky. You see, the night sky has been around forever. It's part of our heritage. It inspires people. It gives us the opportunity to learn where we came from, how we can better ourselves and create technologies to better our lives. If we can't see what's up there, then we can't learn from it. We need to protect our starry night skies so that everyone can enjoy and learn for generations to come. So here's my ask of you. When you go shopping for an outdoor light for your house or your business, please consider what you're buying carefully and how you will, how you will install it. Think about where do I need the light to shine? How much light do I really need? Choose a light that has fixtures that will direct the light downward instead of up towards the sky or sideways. Pick a color that is warm or yellowish instead of like cold blue. Blue is really bad for wildlife and your eyes. Choose a brightness that is appropriate for what you need. Um, usually between 250 to 1500 lumens is plenty for most yards. Don't leave the light on all night. This is a waste of energy. Use a motion sensor or a timer and this is a great security feature. It's more effective to you know deter, deter uh, prowlers that are you know than having a light on all night and it's pretty cheap it's only about $15 it's actually a great solution. Be courteous and consider your neighbors, both human and animal, near and far. If you have any questions or would like advice on what to buy, please contact me. I'll be more than happy to help you out. I will also post some links in the comments. Oh, one last thing. Um, this summer, I plan to have a few days reserved for those of you in Quinnan who would like to come and see what we do here at, at the Deep Sky Observatory, and at no cost. I encourage you to come visit. Thank you for listening. Stay safe out there, and clear skies.